This paper is in the Occasions mini catalog and it is absolutely gorgeous. My favorite one is this one here. How amazing is that? Look at the intricate detail of the flowers. Oh, I so, so love it. This was actually created um, by an artist who painted it and then Stampin' Up! just photocopied it. So it really, truly is a piece of art. Um, I absolutely love it. But the backgrounds and then these tulips. Okay, so you know how I love spring and I'm counting down the days. I think there's like 47 days until spring or something like that. Maybe it's in the 30s now. I am not really sure. I just know it's coming soon. I love that. So, of course, with this piece of paper, if you look in the Occasions mini catalog, they used this in a frame and it looks absolutely gorgeous. But if you don't want to frame it, but you also don't really want to cut it up because you love how amazing it is, I have the perfect way to get the most use out of this. I got this from a fellow stamper, Patty Bennett, who created all of these cards and I just did a few little modifications. So here are all of the cards. Actually, let's just move this paper out of the way. And you'll see that all of these cards use that paper. And then I actually still even used that last little bitty strip that was at the bottom and flipped it over for these two fabulous cards. So you can see, here let's try to scoot these up so you can see them all a little bit better. So these were actually this strip here at the bottom. So the only piece that I didn't use was this little square right here. But all of these, um, they all measure uh, four inches wide by five and a quarter. So you'll just take that top piece of paper here and you'll do, um, you'll do five and a quarter down and then you'll do four, four, and four and then you'll do five and a quarter down, four, four, and four and you'll be left with that little strip here at the bottom that's really just all of those little stems and I'm not really sure what you could do with the stems so of course I just flipped it over to this side which is super fabulous and colorful and then created these little cards here. Awesome, awesome. Here, I'm just gonna set these over here because I think you can see them better. So with each of these, I just added a little greeting. I added some of the butterflies from the butterfly framelits, which are gorgeous. Added some pearls. Here I used my label love and artisan label punch. Um, here I used the lots of thanks and the decorative label punch. So super amazing way to use that paper. Be sure to get some of yours and don't worry about using it up. You can always buy more and it is super fabulous. Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can see more ways that you can use this paper and see more photos. Happy stamping!